Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. This video is all about planting cantaloupe, watermelon, we'll do some transplants, maybe some seeds, and you can also do cucumbers this way. I'm filling up my metal raised beds. This is a sponsored video, it's sponsored by ProMix. You don't have to put super high quality stuff in the bottom two thirds of your raised beds. I will link a video to show you how to fill that bottom two thirds. But in the top third, you really want a quality mix. If you don't want to make your own, I highly recommend the Premium Organic Garden Mix by ProMix. You can find that at Walmart, Home Depot. I've been using this product for a while. I really like it. It's made from peat moss and cocoa core. It's a beautiful blend. I'll show you the quality of the mix as we're filling the beds. Now, something important to understand that this says one cubic feet, but this is compressed down. This is really two cubic feet worth of starting mix or container mix or in-ground mix. You can use this product for seed starting, you can use it for your containers, you can use it in raised beds, you can use it right in the ground. You don't need to buy separate soil products for all those different things. This one bag will do it all. So this is compressed down, it uses a lot less plastic. This plastic can be recycled, it's great for the environment. I like that it's compressed and it has a handle and you can just carry it around like this. You don't have to pick up a big bag and hug it and get dirt and stuff all over yourself. The Premium Organic Garden Mix does everything you need it to do in your garden. So over here, I've already used a bag in the top third of this container and you can just see how beautiful it is. The reason you want the quality material in that top four, six, eight inches is because of the shallow roots. Your plants, no matter what you're growing, tomatoes, I'm sorry, these are actually peppers, that's stevia, and I even have peanuts back there. They're going to send out shallow roots. You want quality material. I'll show you how to set up this bed. This bed's ready for that material, fertilizer, just setting it up, and then we're going to get into cantaloupe and watermelon, and I'll just show you the whole process for getting that going. Over here you can see cantaloupe are already growing in it. They look beautiful, starting to flower and they're coming out. The peanut plant looks pretty good. Watermelon's doing well. That top four to six inches, I want to stress, is really important. You don't have to spend a lot of money and put quality stuff down at the bottom all the way up to the growing area. Use um, what you have around in that bottom two-thirds, lesser quality stuff, but really focus on getting the good stuff in the top third. So let's set this bed up with fertilizer, with the uh, premium organic gardening mix from ProMix, and get these plants into the ground. We're going to set up the top third of my raised beds. Look how beautiful this product is. Cocoa core, peat moss, some perlite, nice and fine. This is just beautiful for the top four to six inches of your soil. This also makes a great seed starting mix. Instead of paying six, seven, eight dollars for 12 quarts of seed starting mix, just get, you know, this compressed bag of Pro Mix and you can really save a lot of money and it works really really well for seed starting if you're doing it indoors or if you're starting some seeds outdoors and maybe some larger containers or something like that. This is OMRI listed which means it's perfect for organic use. Just really really nice stuff. First thing that we want to do is put down some organic granular fertilizer. You can use any organic granular fertilizer that fits your budget. It looks something like this. This is a slow release and it's slowly going to break down over time. We're going to be putting in these cantaloupes. They got a little beat up. We had like really intense rain last night. But they're going to be perfectly fine. So in your two-thirds of lesser quality stuff, and you can see a lot of wood and stuff in here, that's fine for the depth that it's at. We're going to just take, you know, a handful, sprinkle it in there. Let's move this over to the side. You know, it's not an exact measurement, but any organic granular that has N, P, and K represented works really well. And just scatter it around. Mix it in a little bit on the top. Before, I mean, you don't want to just kind of put in all of this at once. You want to get some of it out. And it's compressed. So it looks like it's less, but once you kind of pull it out of there, it really fluffs up and fills up your beds or your containers. But we want to take out a good amount, spread it throughout the raised bed, give it a good part, and then mix it into that top layer. You never really want to layer materials on top of each other. You want whatever layer you're putting in now, which is the Pro Mix, you want to blend it in to whatever is in your raised bed. That's going to create a nice transition for the root system. 
That looks pretty good. At this point, you could add a little bit more fertilizer. Notice I'm not doing any exact measures. The organic granular takes time to break down with soil microbiology, so this will be available to the plant, you know, anywhere from like really two, two weeks to six, eight weeks down the line. We're going to put in some water-soluble fertilizer on the plants into the bed after we plant. I will show you how to do that. So we have enough organic granular in there. We're going to put in the rest of the pro mix. You can just see how much you get. It's, I mean, it's just beautiful. It's really light. And that's why you can use it for seed starting. You can use it in your containers. You can use it in raised beds. You can use it right in the ground. And that makes a really nice planting area. Press it in a little bit, create a solid base for the plants. Probably wouldn't have been easier if I took out the trellising, but that's okay. And now we have the quality stuff in the top third of a raised bed. All right, let's get to planting. I'm gonna transplant this cantaloupe right into the space. I'm gonna put this one in another part of my garden. We will put down some watermelon seeds in the bed over here too, so I'll show you how to do that. Promix shares my belief that gardening is great for your mental health. It is a wonderful way, gardening is a wonderful way to kind of take a break, not so much from life, but just take a break. Come outside, feel the soil, listen to the bird sounds, which I'm sure you can hear in this video, and just kind of get lost in the task that you're doing. The pro mix is so light, you don't even need a shovel. So right at the planting hole, I like to mix things together. This is where I would put in one or two tablespoons of the organic granular fertilizer. You never want to sit your plant right on fertilizer. Just mix it through. Pop this guy out. You can grow two cantaloupe in one space. That's great for pollination. I wouldn't do more because they get really big. And we're going to just drop it into the hole just above where the soil level is right here. And then we're going to water this in with fish emulsion, a water-soluble fertilizer that provides nitrogen. The water solubles provide nitrogen, potassium, and phosphorus right away to the plant. So the root system will be able to pull in that nitrogen. This is going to green up. The root system will take off and this plant will look like the one that I showed you at the beginning of the video. That's all you need to do. This is going to need to be trellised, so I will be building a trellis right here. I'll show you some of the examples of what I'm using already. But the cantaloupe is in, so let's set up this side for planting some watermelon seeds. I just put a tomato cage around this cantaloupe. As it gets bigger, I'll decide how I want to trellis it. I think that I actually want this to kind of come up and then drop down, and I'm leaving space open right here so sunlight gets into there. So I don't want to put a big trellis right here and block some of the sun getting to those melons. Over on this side, it's okay, because my sun sits over here and that shadow is going to drop that way a little bit. When you're growing watermelon up trellises, you really want to focus on a watermelon that's six pounds, eight pounds, 10 pounds, maybe 12 pounds, because of the weight. So these are petite yellows. These get somewhere between six and 10 pounds. A little chewed right there because my dog got to it. But we're just going to drop three seeds into this area. What's most important is just press it in. You don't want the soil to be so loose that your seeds drop down too far. We're going to put in, well, let's see if I can do this. One, two. We're just going to drop in three seeds right here, just a triangle and we're going to thin it down to two plants if they all come up. And you just press them down about a half an inch. That's all you need to do. In the warmth of June, warm soil, 60 degrees, these are going to sprout in three, four, five days. We'll water it in at the end. The cucumber seeds are going to go in on this side. These are pickling cucumbers. I'm using a ladder for my trellis. Let me just drop the seeds down. You always want to put in, I think, an extra seed or two because you don't want to wait around for them to germinate they're not going to germinate. It's better just to thin them down. So this has already been set up with the ProMix about a week and a half ago. It's already pretty firm. And you just again take three seeds, make a little triangle, and press them down about a half an inch. You know, don't go past an inch. 
and we'll water these in. That's all you need to do. In the warmth of the beginning of the summer, late spring, when the soil is warmed up, you don't need to worry about transplants. You can just do seeds, save yourself some money. These are going to come up really quickly. They'll be up within a week. This is how you start cucumbers, cantaloupe, watermelon from seed, or this is how you plant transplants. All right, let's get to giving them that water-soluble fertilizer, the fish emulsion. Promix is pretty much dry when it comes out of the bag, so you do want to water it in well. Really soak the cocoa core, the peat moss, and then you would water it in with the water soluble, which we will do in a second. But I recommend checking out Walmart, Home Depot for the Pro Mix you saw here today. Really soak this in. Get that top layer saturated. And you would need a little bit more than this. But then you go to the fish emulsion. Any water soluble fertilizer works. And just give it you know, four or five seconds right at the base. And then for your seeds, just a quick wash, just like that. These plants probably are at, I don't know, somewhere between seven and 14 days. They can get a little quick drink too. You can do this and that's all they need. The cantaloupe, the watermelon, and you can do this every 10 to 14 days. As they get bigger, they're gonna need more fertilizer to support the whole system. But I think this is going to be a beautiful area. This is actually two pre-made deck railings that I hinged together for the trellis. And this is uh, wire mesh, a couple of eight foot posts. That will be for the watermelon. And over here, I'm just using a ladder that I picked up at a thrift store. And that will take care of the cucumber plants. Just give them a quick drink. And then while I'm at it, I'm going to hit the pepper plant. Part of the strategy here too with all the trellising is that the sun comes this way and then it comes over here behind the camera over my right shoulder. So the main sun comes in this way. I don't want to block too much of this space because it's going to block the plants here or the trellising here would block those plants and then if that was a big trellis right in there it would block the plants back there. So I'm leaving this side open for more sun and the major trellising is on the left and in the last bed in the back. And that's just a good way to maximize the sun getting to these plants. Hope this was helpful. Please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com and please subscribe. I'll show you how these are growing and how I take care of them over the season. Thanks for watching.